Okay, I'm at USC and I'm taking a walk. And what I'm trying to do is get myself back into the routine of walking again because I kind of stopped exercising, I guess because of work. Um, so now I'm over here by the track. Just kind of wanted you guys to get an eye opener. Um, you know, that when I talk about USC, I know what I'm talking about because I'm around a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to be putting this on my uh, videos. Oh, huh? Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> what times do they open? Uh, what times do they open? What time do they after open the regularly? Team, after the track team leaves, it's open back to the program. Oh, okay. That's why I say 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. That's every Saturday, right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you see me, uh, <laughs> you see I was talking to the track coach. I guess the track team is uh, exercising. So, anyway. Yeah, my journey. So this 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 part of what I'm doing is is I'm gonna try to drop a few pounds or so. And I'm no, I'm not gonna reveal myself. I don't want to be famous or anything like that or show off. Um, I'm not trying to be a supermodel. <laughs> uh, so I'm I really experiment on this one right here because I don't normally make live videos like this where I'm actually somewhere. You know, I try to give everybody their uh, space. You know, I don't want to be in, too intrusive. But anyway, here I am. I'm just going to walk around the campus. Just, you know, kind of chill out and walk around the campus. And, you know, I, I hadn't had a chance to actually get out and walk. Because I'm always driving. <laughs> but anyway, this video is not going to be long. Um already it's like what two minutes so this is a USC campus so you know a lot of times people they make videos and they don't know what the hell they're talking about they've never been there they're just voicing opinions on shit they don't know, even know because they've never actually experienced it or they, they they don't know what they're talking about they haven't been there but if I say stuff about USC, <laughs> you know, say, oh, I know what the campus is like. Well, now you know that's the truth because <laughs> I'm actually on the campus. Uh, I used to um, regularly run the track, you know, on a regular basis. I used to run the track, um, you know, and when I was younger, I used to run track. So... Anybody that knows me, they know, you know. And it doesn't take me long to drop weight. It's just doing it, exercising. <laughs> you know, it's just getting out there and doing it. Once I get in the routine, I'm back at it again. And it, I say it takes me, in order to lose weight, a couple of months, a couple of weeks rather, and I can see results fast. Usually my thing is it's just I just need to get back out there. Uh, when I just stopped doing it all together, and then I just seemed to blow up like a Michelin man. <laughs> anyway, you hear the echo. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to utilize this uh, wonderful weekend and exercise. And I'm going to do it on a regular basis. I feel like I have a head start since it's summer to do this. Um... Uh, you can kind of see that's the track. Let me see. Somebody's behind me. I don't know who. <laughs> Probably a student. Just somebody walking. Yeah, a student. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they really, uh, they always uh, remodel different things at the school here. So, I mean, so you guys can kind of get a looky gander here. 
Some people already know this campus like the back of their hand because they probably are students or faculty, staff members or whatever. They've lived around here with me. Uh, he said at 11 o'clock. I'm trying to see. It's not 11 yet. Uh, so it's just, Anyway, I'm like right outside the track. So it's a morning practice. I'm seeing the USC hours. This is Monday through Friday. Uh, during my work week, I wouldn't be able to do all of that. You know, I did it on a Friday, Saturday, and then a Sunday. But uh, anyway, it's the track that you're looking at at USC. And I, I managed to always be by some kind of track and field. It, I, I never let it go, even though I don't do it anymore. I guess if you've, been, if you've ever been an athlete, some of the things that you used to do when you were younger, you just seem to never let it go. <laughs> Even if you're not active in it, you're, you know, you're exercising or you're looking at it. <laughs> well, at least I do. And you seem to never lose the abilities that you have. Totally, you never lose them. You might not be as active, but... Might not can do all the things you used to do, but sometimes you never use the, you, even if you don't use it as much, you never lose the ability to do what you used to do. But it's a pretty nice field. Uh, you know, I find myself, even when I go to the high school, uh, some of the high schools and they have their track I always look at it to s kind of compare which track is is uh, nice I actually think this is a nice track because the you know it has that uh, it's like a rubber like running on a mat it's softer on the and, and cushiony for the you know when you you're running on it so you don't damage your your shins and stuff, but anyway, and your feet. Uh, usually when I start exercising, I start with walking, and I'll walk, and then I'll drop, you know, like some of the things that I, I, I normally eat as a regular that are probably not good things, like I'll, I'll cut back on sugar and carb, some carbs, not all. <laughs> I feel like I could do um, less carbs, and then that's when I start seeing the results of weight loss. Um, and then if I have a regular routine of walking and then, you know, sometimes I'll walk and jog. I won't really like run like fast like I'm a track runner. I'll just jog. It's enough to like drop, you know, some, some weight, feel like I got my energy back or whatever. And I'll try to drink tea. I, yesterday I went to Trader Joe's and I went and got some tea and it's like a herbal organic tea with ginseng and you know I've been seeing some some people's videos where they have certain teas and stuff and they're trying to use that as a way to help them you know reduce pounds and anyway um, I don't think I'll ever give up my love for track even as a kid I used to watch the runners the elite runners um, now, what, I, what I've been planning to do, and I've never actually done it, and it's probably something on my bucket list, is actually do a marathon, you know, a marathon. I, I did the mini marathons when I was out of high school. I would run the short races. Those were fun. You know, like 5K, 10K, you know. That was when I was a, a lot better shape, but... I probably could get myself back to d doing that at some point. I used to always want to do the LA Marathon, but I thought, you know, I hear people talking about bloody feet and toenails coming off and some people dying, you know, they over uh, exerted themselves and that I ain't trying to do. <laughs> you know, I want to be around a little bit longer. But anyway, I'm going to end this video. I believe I have gone to the nine minute mark and I'm gonna to try to see if I can upload this video. Um, I'm gonna walk out first. 
uh, away from the track. They said they're opening it up around 11. Uh, I'm probably not going to use it. It's not going to really need to use it when I'm walking around the campus. It's about the same length. So, um, everything's locked up. So, uh, you can see, like, all of the, look like all the uh, people who have, uh, I, I would assume maybe people who have donated to USC or been inducted, you know, look like could be famous people or maybe people who were athletes. I'm just assuming. <laughs> but anyway, that, that's what the placards are. So, but anyway, uh, I'm walking out of the USC uh, track area, track and field. That's the locker room. It says no public restrooms. They put that on there. Because I remember it's, uh, about, I say, maybe two years ago, I was looking for a bathroom. <laughs> I know this seems kind of crazy, but I had to walk all the way across the campus. Um... I couldn't use it in the locker room because they wouldn't let public people, people from the public use the locker room bathroom. And the lady that was in there, she was rude. She was really, really rude. And I just asked a simple question and yeah, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. Um, she, she was an African American lady. I'm African American, but she was rude. I'm like, I just asked a question. <laughs> Could we use the restroom? You know, it was like so, it was almost like that attitude, like you're not a USC student, then you can't use our bathroom, you know, type of attitude. So, <laughs> so that's what I mean by there's a lot of pride and prestige. You know, they kind of, you know, people can get their bottom up on their shoulders, you know, and act kind of stuck up you know uh, but anyway now I'm heading out towards what's that street I'm trying to think of that street there Jefferson I believe it's Jefferson uh, so this is part of the campus right here too you literally could exercise by just walking around in the, in the campus area without even using the track and it's free space I mean, if you're somebody that wants to, you know, walk your weight down and try to get out and stretch your legs and muscles and stuff, um, they don't restrict you from doing that. But I did find bathrooms, restrooms, but you had to go like in some of these buildings where they allow you. Now, this is a pool. Let me see. I don't know what they're doing. Like, what is it? I ain't never seen that before. It looked like trampolines. Uh, I don't know if you can see what I'm looking at. It looks like trampolines. I don't want to put the camera on it. It looks like young kids or whatever. I don't know if it's some kind of exercise camp or whatever. It looks like trampolines or something. Maybe part of their workout routine. People who swim. So, anyway. Um, yeah, uh, I like swimming too. Um, probably as I get older, I'm probably going to be one of those older women that likes kind of get, gets their thrill out of exercising. I know that seems kind of weird for some because you know, some like maybe knitting and cooking and all that. No. Me, I gotta be running around and exercising or something, walking, keep myself busy. But anyway, this is, video is coming to a close. I'm actually going around here to where the dentistry, you know, USC has a, a dentist, like students, they're uh, studying to be dentist, physicians, and I think medical field, a lot of medical stuff. Um, also, they have music, so there's a whole host of stuff here, but anyway, well, with that being said, 
I'm going to uh, end this video. I'm actually going into a parking lot area. And I'm kind of being nosy too at the same time. <laughs> some, some stuff has been built around here. It's been a while since I've been here, so. You know, I always drive past USC, so I'm not afraid to say that. <laughs> so, yeah, I do know about USC. <laughs> I have friends that have attended here. I have uh, somebody that I know that's part of my uh, extended family that their father was a professor here. Uh, so, yeah, I know a lot about USC. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to close this video. I'm in the back here. And... I will be uploading this. I'm actually going out to another parking lot. Still on the USC campus. Not officially off yet. Alrighty. And that is that. Well, you can still see the buildings at USC. This is a school of dentistry. I don't know if you can see that over there. This big building. It's a dentist. Where the dental students are. Let me go a, a closer close-up of it and that's how I'm gonna end my video so, so you know when I say something about USC I know what I'm talking about I'm not just feeding you a line of bullshit <laughs> but anyway all right this video's ended ciao